One of my school formals is coming up and I ordered a ton of dresses, but like a crap ton of dresses. It's just like a whole long story of why I ordered so many and this and that. I figured why not do a whole haul with them because I did order so many. So I was like, you know what? I might as well film a haul and show you guys all the dresses that I ordered and then later on returned except for one of them. Yes, I did already pick out my dress, but I'm still going to show you guys everything. You guys can put your guesses down below of which one I picked. Just for reference, I am five foot four, and I ordered either a size small or a size for depending on the brand of these dresses take my hand and hold it down. Okay, starting off with the first two dresses both of them are from Windsor um I ordered from two stores Windsor and Lulu so I'm gonna start off with Windsor first I love this dress so much I love the color I love the fit I love the design on it I love everything about it. So dress number one, it was really, really pretty. And it had like this really pretty light blue color. It was kind of like ashy almost. And it had really pretty like lace detailing as well as sequins on it. I will say that this color looks really nice with my skin tone because, you know, I kind of have a like, cooler skin. And so like the blue kind of like matched with like the blue undertones I have or red. I don't know what undertones I have. It not only matched my skin tone really well, but also the shape of the dress. Just like the whole mermaid style just like really flattered my body. I really liked everything about the dress. However, it was just way too long and this might just be a whole thing with Windsor where all their dresses are super long I'm not entirely sure but the dress was really long and I could try to hem it or obviously like I could try to get it hemmed If I did get it hemmed then it would just kind of like take away the mermaid effect So I'm not sure if I would want to hem it but honestly overall it was so stunning I love the mermaid effect I love the color of it and the pattern and the sequin The only thing is that I wish it was a little bit shorter but other than that it was so pretty and I honestly loved it. On to dress number two. This dress was also from Windsor. Now this dress, it has the exact same shape as the other dress, which also means that it was also extremely long. It was so stunning. Oh, here's the second dress, second and last dress from Windsor. When I tell you I love every single one of these dresses. I felt like a movie star. It had like this black fabric with this really pretty blue sequins on it. It had like a really pretty pattern and it was all made up by blue sequins, which I thought was really pretty and really cute. And I don't know, it seriously just made me feel like a movie star or something. I don't even know. Yes, this dress also has a mermaid effect to it. As you can tell, I really like those dresses. But overall, this was so so pretty and I really loved it. But yeah, just honestly keep in mind that with Windsor, if you are on the shorter side like me or even shorter than me, then you will definitely have to get these dresses hemmed if you order the ones that I ordered. Or maybe it's just like a whole thing cross Windsor where they make dresses for taller people. That could be it. Um, So if you are taller, I would say definitely get these dresses. And then if you are a little bit on the shorter side, I would say be a little bit more careful with them and make sure that you're able to hem them or get them hemmed. <laughs> the dresses that I got from Lulu's. I will say that Lulu's is always a safe bet with me. I usually order the majority of my dresses from Lulu's just because they fit me so nicely, except for the first one I'm going to show you, but that's a different story. Also, just keep in mind, Lulu's does not have padding with their dresses, so keep that in mind if you order these dresses, and also keep that in mind when you're watching the try-on portion. I did leave my bra on just because I don't have, like, any sticky boobs or whatever, but I will get those for the dance if I do end up going with one of those dresses, but yeah, basically just ignore that in the try-on. It won't be there for the dance. I can promise you that. So well, let's start off with dress number three. It was kind of one of the more basic dresses, which I wanted to show you first. So basically this one, I ordered a red silk dress and it was so pretty. It honestly fit perfectly, literally perfectly. However, it did not zip in the back. It's honestly pretty ironic considering I ordered this dress as a backup dress because, you know, just in case I didn't like my other dresses. And then it turns out that my backup dress was the only dress that was impossible to put on. Despite all of that, it did make me feel really elegant and it honestly made me feel like I was walking the red carpet. There's not much to say about it other than it was really pretty and really simple yet elegant and I loved it. It did have a really high slit in the front which honestly added so much to the dress and honestly made me feel like a baddie. But yeah, I added like such a really cute flair to the dress and I honestly loved it. Honestly, other than it not being able to zip up all the way in the back, it was really flattering on me and overall it was a really nice length. I would probably have it at tiny tiny bit but not nothing too crazy but yeah other than that it was such a pretty dress and i i loved it now onto 
the fourth dress, um, which was also from Lulu's. This dress is so, so unique and cute. It was a really pretty royal blue color and it had like these little like kind of like 3D flowers on it, which I've never seen before on a dress, which was really pretty. And it honestly just like really stuck out to me when I put it on. This dress, just like the last one, it also did have a slit in the front, which again, it added so much. I don't know, I just feel like I never noticed or realized that a slit or something so small like that well, I guess it's kind of big, but I never realized I could add so much to a dress, but like it really does. And I don't know, it's just like a really nice flair to have. Honestly, adding the flowers to the dress and like just having it on, honestly, yeah, I felt like a princess in the medieval times and there's nothing wrong with it. And also it did have another mermaid effect to it. It was a little bit more subtle than the other dresses, but it still did have a little bit of a mermaid effect on it. Of course, I love those dresses with the mermaid effect. I think every single dress that I've had has a mermaid effect and what about it? Come here, I want to show you something. This is for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, on to the last dress. This dress is so... This dress is so stunning. Oh my goodness. This dress is genuinely so simple yet so elegant. And I'm in love with it. Like, I didn't think I could be in love with the dress. Yet here I am. You know what I mean? So again, it did have a little bit more of a mermaid shape to it. I love those dresses. You guys already know that by now. I know this dress was very simple, but the color and the shape and everything of it just made it super unique and stunning. And it honestly made me feel gorgeous. Like, wow. Honestly, the gold and silver color, I've never really seen it before on many dresses, if not any dresses, so that really stuck out to me. I just, I really liked this dress. I didn't even, I loved, I loved this dress. It's so stunning and simple, yet so extra at the exact same time. That's all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you stayed up to this point in the video, comment, comment your favorite dress that I tried on. Comment the dress you hope I pick. Kane's I already picked out a dress, but still feel free to put your guesses down below. And with that being said, I love you. Y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.